so welcome back today we will discuss about uh very good and interesting topic that is bushinger effect that is pushing the reset that is about the tensile and compressive loading simultaneously uh, on the material what happens when we apply this kind of loading so now let us understand through this graph Let's consider this graph. Here, it will be positive strain. Here, it will be positive stress. Negative strain and negative stress. So suppose, first of all, we are applying tensile stress on the material, and because of that, it will have tensile strain. after applying this tensile stress we uh, and we have this tensile strain we are removing the tensile stress but, but because because of the nature of the material its plastic nature of the material there will be some amount of strain that will remain inside the material the material won't be able to get its original shape and size and because of that we will have this kind of curve So here, at this point, the value of stress is zero, but there is strain in the material. Okay. Now from here, we are applying the compressive stress. Okay. We are applying the compressive stress like this. So first of all, after when we apply compressive stress, uh, stress. the positive strain will first of all become uh, what we can say zero over here so here the value of uh, strain that is zero but we have some value of negative stress negative stress means compressive stress if we go beyond we further load the material by compression it will have some negative strain means compressive strain so we have read up to this point now again we will apply the first of all uh, now now at this position we will apply again the positive stress or we can say the tensile stress so because of that what will happen the curve will move like this If we go further, it will go like this. So from here, we are applying tensile stress. So first of all, the negative stress will become zero over here. Here, but yes, we have some negative strain in the material, some plastic uh, compressive strain in the material. From that, if we further load the material, uh, uh, it will have at this point, it will have some positive compressive. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, tensile stress. but the strain is zero in this material because we have first of all overcome the negative strain in the material 
again if we further load the material then we will have again the positive strain on the material due to the positive stress or the tensile strain that we are applying on the material okay so <coughs> if you see carefully so this was the uh, let us consider this is zero point this is first point this is second point and this is the third point the flow of the process is like this we have at point B. So this point 1 is initial yield strength of the material. The one point indicates the initial yield strength of the material and the three indicates the final yield strength of the material after we have applied the compressive stress and the compressive strain that we have generated in the material there is a significant uh, reduction in the what we can say in the yield strength of the material so again if we consider the compressive initial compressive uh, load then it will be like it will be like this this will be point one minus okay so what is the, uh, the thing that we need to understand when any object is loaded with tensile load then compressive and then again tensile ok so in such cases when the first tensile load is applied at that point whatever the yield strength of the material is initial yield strength of the material that will be greater than the uh, yield strength of the material when the second tensile load is applied or we can say the final tensile load is applied this particular effect reduction in the yield strength is known as the Boschinger effect okay similar happens with, uh, in compressive loading if you see over here the word that's that is initial yield strength in compressive loading while the two that is the final yield strength in the compressive loading. so we know that the initial yield strength in compressive that is greater than the final yield strength in compressive ok so this O1 dash is initial compression and uh, that line you can say 1 to 2 okay that is final compression in case of compression load okay so this thing is known as the Boschinger effect whenever the material is loaded with same magnitude but the nature is different nature means nature of the load means it can be compressive or it can be tensile 
tensile means positive load compressor means negative okay so this is a very good point to be asked in any exam or any interview for the mechanical engineer that what is the pushing gear effect okay so i hope now that is clear to you i will come up with more such videos interesting videos regarding mechanical engineering okay till now thank you very much keep watching and keep following study hq thank you